do you walk the fine line between making people suffer and keeping them motivated? You know, let me share something I learned from um, a Stanford grad. Uh, he got both his undergrad and his master's here at Stanford. I was very fortunate to hire him into Oracle. He went on to work for McKinsey, and he ran, since Jay Choi, he ran the Seoul office for McKinsey. And I was interviewing him for my research on multipliers, and he said something interesting to me. He said, Liz, when your people are struggling, it's irresponsible not to help. He said, but you have to remember to hand the pen back. And I wasn't sure what he was talking about. And he explained at a moment in time, it's 2 AM in the Seoul office. All the lights are out except this one conference room because Jay and a project team have a huge deliverable for the next day. They're putting, they've been doing a business transformation study. They're putting together the pitch for this client on how they're going to take the project to the next level. It's their most important pan-Asian client. It's 2 AM. And the team is dead in the water, stuck. They're trying to come up with the story, and they've got nothing. And at one point, the project leader turns to Jay like, hey, we could use a little help. You know, Jay is a very experienced consultant. He's been in their shoes a long time. He's there as the executive sponsor. And so he takes the pen from the project leader. And he goes up to the board, and he starts to map it out, because he can see the issues. He, he, you know, he, the themes are clear to him. And he starts to lay it out. And you can only imagine how good this feels. You know, It's almost like this intoxicating um, feeling of rescuing, saving the day. And he's laying out the storyboard. And about 2 thirds of the way through his idea, he stops. And the multiplier in him signals restraint. And he just pauses there. He turns back to the project leader. Jae Hyun hands the pen back. And he said, here are a few ideas to get you started. Why don't you take it from there? He said, you know, when your people are struggling, it's irresponsible not to help. But you've got to remember to hand the pen back. What's the pen? Responsibility, control, accountability. Help people get out of the ditch, but put them back in the lead is, I think, the way you keep people from suffering too much and make sure they're, they're in charge and they're driving and motivated.